Ladies and gentlemen, we are back with another. I know it's been uh, probably two weeks since I worked on this truck, so I had an emergency. He had a death in the family, had to go home. Right after that, I had to work a weekend. I work one weekend a month, for a lot of people who don't know that. So I had to work a weekend away from the house, so I couldn't really touch the truck, but now I'm back on it. Um, all my fab work is done, literally. I'm at the point where I'm just bolting everything together. So I got uh, three torque converter bolts right here, and then eight motor mount bolts, including one in my hand. And uh, those motor mount bolts go there to the motor. Torque converter bolts go on torque converter. Um, I got pictures. You know, a lot of y'all were saying, let's talk more work. So now I'm resolved that I'm not going to do that much talking. I'm going to do a lot of work. And I ain't going to do no much answering questions because y'all don't want to see the informational part of, this, of the process. So y'all ask for it, I'm going to get to y'all. So tighten all this up. Like I said, I had to move those a little bit, but you can't even really tell. So I'm tightening all that up, tighten the motor mount bolts. So I put the accessories on. I got to uh, extract some broken studs off in the head. They're all aluminum heads, so my MIG welder should help me out when I'm trying to get this stuff out. Other than that, once I do that, fender wheels, <coughs> put the harness on, put everything on. Like, literally, I can just start throwing stuff on. Once the motor's in there, that's the easy part for me. Because I already know what comes after this. It's like a, a snowball rolling down a hill. It's just gonna pick up. I already know what what's what. Now, a couple years ago when I was lost, I wouldn't know what I was doing. But uh, I got the formula now, and uh, like I said, it's gonna it's gonna work. We'll be starting this boy hopefully in two days. I gotta make some ground wires. I gotta get a power wire for the starter. A whole bunch of little stuff. I got a whole list of it. I'm sitting today, right? But um, like I'll say, y'all don't wanna see no information. So just watch the pictures, I guess. Tank. Let your friends watch the pictures. y'all with a with a good amount of info um so i was thinking like i said i don't want to switch up the way i do my videos my editing i'm gonna get it up some more but as far as the information i put out it is limited but it is helpful so i'm gonna keep putting out the info that i put out now it's jrc 10 so literally there everything's bolted up now it's got to come back out okay Hi. You, you can't be doing that when I'm recording. Yeah. So, like I said, it's hot. But, uh, pretty much there. The trans got to come back down. And, uh, the torque converter is not spinning. Show you all that real quick. And while I was talking about the info, this is helpful to people. And for those who know already how to do this, just don't watch the video, man. For real. You no. Know, how to do it you got no reason to watch the video all right so the torque converter bolts are not in and still you should be able to twist the torque converter so what i gotta do uh take the cross member bolts out and uh the trans mount bolt which is one right there the five six bell housing bolts which is one two should be a couple in the middle and then two on the other side. The trans lines ain't connected. The drive shaft I ain't put in yet, but everything is in the exact location it was with the V6. All right, so once I take that off, I just reseat the torque converter and put it back on, and then I can bolt it up. But the reason why I haven't is uh, I was gonna do it last night, but J. Rock say, yeah. So I told him like, hey, if you about to put a converter in you might want to just change the flywheel too because you got the stock flywheel for those who don't know you got to drill it out i got a whole series on it i know everybody always asking me uh what you do for this what you do for that watch the videos i got a whole series on doing this on fuel injected in a carb setup so um once i drop that trans i'm, I'm pretty sure we're going to change the flywheel change the converter 
and then uh, just woke that up, and then I uh, start on fuel. I was gonna start on fuel, but uh, the sending unit, I got like nearly a whole list. Let me show y'all. So we was trying to make some stuff work with what he already had. So basically trying to trying to rig it, but I told him like, man, I, I don't really want to do that no more. I'm trying to be a fish rapper, but uh, got a whole list, man, of things to do in parts. So all that. That's things to do in parts. So he said, don't worry about it. Just push it out, cause uh, he moving right now. He's but he moving all his stuff in a week. So he three trips. Um, from Kansas to South Carolina, but uh, I like all right. Only can see my dog. I, I say all right, cool. I'll take it out and bring it back when when you're ready. So push this out, and then once we get all the parts again, we'll roll it back in, and then we'll get jumping on it. But uh, literally once I bring this back in, we'll be on the road. Could connect everything. And I'm in here noticing more stuff. I want to see the shift blanket. it. So I'm gonna put that in my notes. Um, each of these three hashes, broken stud in there, so I'm gonna weld up uh, a nut on it. Mig weld these on, and then I'll be able to take it out. But uh, we are never at SES. Alright, at SES we are never using OEM studs or the studs that come with the header kit and this is the reason why. Same thing is on my box ship. Uh, but I got it on both sides. So, ARP studs for the win. We are definitely not doing that anymore. But uh, yeah. Anyway, I'm rambling on. We about to push this out and get the Tahoe moved over. And then uh, we're going to get a concrete cutter. Y'all stay tuned for that. That'll be in the next video. Uh, we're getting the stuff ready for the lift. Still can't put it in until after 28 days after the concrete is fully set. So, we have to do that now because, like I said, uh, cars is coming in and stuff is about to get real and interesting. But, uh, SES, I'm out.